Okay. So I'm going to close the chat so I don't get um, into my very candy ADD self. All right. Ah, so freedom and freedom, not as a concept, but an actual frequency an actual um, station that we can tune into and not just tune into, but um, magnetize and then magnetize and um, have our cells resonate with the inherent original self and the original self that was always free. And there's a lot of different um activities around in the mind around freedom and you know who is free what has been you know when were we actual free as a species and then of course there's those layers of different races who have not been free and there's just so much there's so much when we talk about freedom and freedom as a consciousness and freedom as a frequency and <clears throat> as i've been um, meditating and really just working with the collective field, one of the themes that it doesn't necessarily get so directly um, noticed sometimes or, um, or faced is the frequency of freedom. So there's so much around, uh, we want to create abundance. We want to create, you know, magnetize the relationship. We want to magnetize all these different aspects of, um, of what it is to be human and to live and to live from a place of vitality and creativity. But at the root of all of those is freedom. You know, if you think about it, why people, why we all, um, you know, want abundance or want, um, when people even say like financial freedom or um, what is it to feel free in a relationship? What is it to feel free within your work, your service, your point of orientation of what you're here to give? Well, within that, no matter what it is, it can, um, we can start off with this feeling of expansion and excitement and yay. And then it gets a little bit smaller and smaller and smaller and habits kick in. And all of a sudden we can be just in a habit because our habit is uh, limitation. Our habit is constriction. And then what happens on the unconscious level, the primal brain, the um, survival brain kicks in and fight, flight, or freeze. And so it's like, you've been on a groove. I'm going to use work as an example, and you are offering your dharmic path, your, your passion, your, um, your vocation to the world. And then you're in a rut and then it's that like freeze or it's that resistant. And, um, what I have found in my own practice and then working with hundreds of people for a long time is um, when we can go back and access that point of freedom and truly um, it's like scanning almost like so if you think about all the frequencies that are available to us at any given time, we scan that we feel the freedom and feel like, does it come all the way into your energetic system or does it go to the side, you know, does it skip the first three or the higher centers and then go into the heart, so you might feel free in your relationship but you feel constricted in your ability to, um, to have new thought. You know, there's always the question of like original thought, original um, inspiration. And so when we really start working with freedom in a way that is a visceral and an experience, every other aspect of our life opens up and every other aspect, you start getting the ahas and the yes and the this. And so when we can really sink into that vibration, um, it's truly liberation. So we think about freedom and uh, moksha, liberation. And it's also the freedom from our own entwines um, or intertwining of our programs, our wounding, our um, the stories that we have carried with us and really have adopted as our own. Um, and so freedom from that mental place as well gives you that creativity, gives you that grace. So when we can ask, you know, if grace is always around us at any moment, why don't we just live in a state of grace? Right. And it's that those illusions is that constriction is the stories is though. I mean, there's just like so many different answers to that question. But if we really kind of go to the root and start working with a frequency of freedom, frequency of feeling free, it really it just goes into all the centers in a way that is uh, profoundly 
um, expansive to be able to access um, what wants to be accessed within those. Um, and I want to speak um, quickly to the collective right now. So the collective, and we can call it the matrix, the collective web, um, I see it as a web um, and a netting of sort. And that in different moments in history and different moments in our own life can get more and more um, constricted or thick. And so even in meditation and you're, you know, you're feeling into your own system and you can feel into like this almost um, like it feels like a cap. Have you ever experienced that where you feel like a cap on like your crown or a cap and like, it's like, okay, I'm running my own system, but something feels like I'm hitting the ceiling, right? So it's like, we're hitting um, our upper limits and upper limits also when it comes to um, the collective consciousness, since we are a part we are one, we are a part of the human, um, human experience and the human consciousness on a collective level. So also what is really, really, really important right now is to find that particular vibration of the frequency of freedom for you and keep watering that, um, that line, keep strengthening that um, neural pathway and also energetic pathway. Because as, you know, especially when the collective goes into a place of shock, when the collective goes into a place of constriction and, you know, we're all swimming in this field of the unknown and whether it's unconscious or conscious, there's so much of the primal brain that even if we maybe had grown um, past it or knew had tools to work with it, you know, five years ago, it is activated on a whole new level on a collective. And I'm sure we have all felt that. Um, experience and the importance of what's mine. Just always that question, what's mine? What's mine? What's mine? Is this mine? Is this mine? Is this mine? Just like keep looping that question. So when um, so much of the collective matrix or the stories that are, if you think of it, um, and if you're clairvoyant or you see like the, the net is just kind of pumping out um, different whatever is pumping out. But if we're in that survival from a collective place, um, it can feel harder to truly sink and to feel free. Like, like when I say free to, um, it's gonna feel different to you than me as a certain vibration and frequency, but what it is is free from, we can say suffering, but that, that's a little bit abstract. It's hard for our mind sometime to really grasp, like what is the detail of that in our lives? So it's like, yay, we don't feel suffering, but what does that mean? How does that show up? So when you don't feel suffering, what is the effect of your life? Do you feel more creative? Do you feel more compassionate? Do you not feel as triggered? You know, so, and where we are in our own um, systems and some places we, we have the capacity to really feel more free and then others that we feel more constricted. And so that's also, we're gonna scan your, um, your field and go where you feel more constricted is where we're gonna really um, amplify and anchor in that frequency of freedom. Does that make sense? Was about to say awesome sauce. I'm like channeling my nephew at the moment. <laughs> awesome sauce. We're going to go feel the freedom. Okay. To note, um, there's a link to last um, week's activation on congruency. So if when we get into it, the frequency feels almost like a trickle or it feels uncomfortable, which it can feel. Um, until you start really working with it as a consciousness. Um, you can go back and <clears throat> fast forward through all the stuff, the talking, if you have, if you've already listened to it and go back and see where you're in congruence and where you're not, because that's also going to help um, anchor in the frequency of feeling free and, and freedom. And, um, you know, what's the desire behind freedom? What's the desire behind, I want X, Y, and Z. It usually goes back to, I want to feel expansive. And when, if we, if it feels really uncomfortable, it's usually 
or frequently can be one of our um, energy bodies, one of the um, modes of self, one of our aspects of our consciousness, whether it's the emotional body, mental body is not in congruency with, um, with the present time and what we're uh, wanting to create in our lives. So these two are a little bit linked. So you can um, go back and play with both of these. And each time there's gonna be more vitality and more um, anchoring of these frequencies and then able to create from a different place. All right, <clears throat> so we are going to dive in. <clears throat> so as always, get comfy and turn your focus inward. Feeling into the breath. Ah, perhaps letting out some sound on the exhales, just looking at the field. Maybe some shake that shoulders a little bit. Ah, shake your booty. Ah. Allowing yourself to arrive. Feeling your seat firmly on Mother Gaia, Mother Earth, Pachamama, hmm, the sacred one. From this place of sitting strong and upright, Summon yourself to yourself and say, I and your full name. Summon myself to myself through all timelines, all lifetimes, realities and dimensions. You can say it a few times, feeling yourself return perhaps from dream time or thinking about the future. I'm just gonna name some things I see in the field. Ah, <sighs> calling yourself back from your clients, your work, your families. Let your being fill with your complete agency, your full radiant self as much as you can at this time. Feeling that root again from the base of the spine, linking all the way into the heart of Pachamama, Mother Gaia. 
Going into that grounding cord, strong and capable, as any energies that want to be composted, let go of, go down into the earth. What it feel like in your body and your energy fields to not carry the responsibility for others becoming, for others healings and awakening. Where might it show up in your energy field might show up, <clears throat> excuse me, in your mind as worry for somebody else. Showing up in the back of the heart, just emptying out. We can actively send healing and prayers to others for their healing, for grace, for their awakening, but we don't have to carry it. It clogs our own ability to remember who we are. Your name in the lower abdomen, the stomach. We sit at the council fires together as we sit at the sacred fire together. Allow yourself to relax. Hmm. Having your crown nice and open at the top of your head, the soul light above your crown, about a foot. Nice and open. Connecting right into source. Right into the divine. saying hello to your heart, the front of the heart and the back of the heart. And relax, receive. And with curiosity, we're going to look at how free you feel. Sensing, visualizing, hearing, knowing as if a gauge was put up on a screen in front of you or a thermometer. And take the overall picture first. So if there was a percentage of how free you feel in your own being, in your own sovereignty, in your own life lived experience. If the mind comes in with, I don't know, I don't know, no, I don't know. Just say hello to that part of self that doesn't know. That's great. There is a part of you that does know. allowing, imagining if you could know, 
what would that percentage be? How do you feel in this moment free within your own being? And trust. You might hear, you might sense, you might see. Letting that curiosity and inquiry go. And place your awareness on your heart. Activating your heart center. Activating the mystical heart. And the mind wanders, bring it back to the heart, feeling that the light within the sacred heart getting brighter, activating and activating and activating. Allowing that to stabilize without your awareness. Feeling the frequency of freedom. What comes up when you inquire, feel, sense the frequency of freedom? As if the universe is made up of all frequencies, all vibrations, all experiences, like notes on a piano, and you're tuning into that one note, that one string that is the frequency of freedom. To feel into the frequency of freedom of creation. It may feel far away, it might feel right close to you or opening up the frequency of freedom. And feeling that particular frequency of freedom coming into the top of the head. Note what happens in your energy field. Does it 
squirm a little? Does it feel like it relaxes? How comfortable, how familiar does this particular vibration of frequency of freedom feel in your space? And allow. So feel the frequency of freedom coming into your space. Sense it, what does it feel like, look like? What do you hear? What happens to your body? What happens to your heart, your belly? Are there any images that come up? What's the resistance? Relax, feeling open as the frequency of freedom comes into your space even more. There's a message here. What is the message of this frequency within your space? What is the one thing that you can do to feel more free in your life? Don't overthink, just trust. <clears throat> and relax just breathe feeling into your space again now with a good dose from an overall perspective we're going to go into the physical etheric form your physical etheric body, it's the blueprint that makes up your physical form. So if we're turning the dial in the subtle realms, we're just turning the dial ever so slightly in dimensions and frequency. How free do you feel in your physical etheric form? Notice what happens to your body, what comes up. And then tuning into the frequency of freedom. Right into your physical etheric form. Notice what happens. Allowing the frequency vibration as consciousness coming into your physical etheric form. Opening and opening. Okay. Letting that awareness go, coming into your emotional body, your feelings, 
the waves of emotion. How free are you in your emotional body? Just feel into what happens. And asking, commanding the frequency, the consciousness of freedom coming into the emotional body. Here you might feel things start stirring in your belly or your heart. Allowing the frequency to come into your emotional body of freedom. You might have a part of self that comes up in resistance or celebration. Letting that go, tuning in to the mental body, thoughts, beliefs, ideas, our own and what we've carried over, what's been programmed collectively, individually, the mental body. How free are you in your mental body? What happens in the mental field? Commanding, feeling, how free are you? And asking, commanding the frequency, the consciousness of freedom to come in to your mental body. soul causal body letting that go tuning in from the soul level how free do you feel at the soul level your causal body just notice what you notice and asking commanding the frequency of freedom coming into your soul body your causal body Allowing that to go. Now your spirit body, highest form of self. Just feeling into how this body, this energy field, where the foundation of it is freedom, how this feels different. Go, relaxing into the breath. Just notice what is happening within.
Coming back to your heart. Feeling your body, your whole self. And feeling the space around your body, your connection to the earth, your connection to the divine as the divine. mystic heart, your awakened mind, taking a moment to send some love and healing to all of those beings that are suffering. May we all come to know true freedom within. May we all remember who we are and why we've come here. May we know joy. May we know peace. May our presence be the good medicine the world needs, our families need, our communities, ourselves. May we walk in that remembrance. May we offer love. May we be the love. So it is. Breathing into your whole body, perhaps moving your body around a little, your neck, your shoulders. Allowing yourself to write down what came up if you need to and the different layers.
How many folks, how did you feel when you contacted the frequency of freedom? Did it feel comfortable? Did it feel uncomfortable? Comfortable in some bodies, uncomfortable in others? Did you notice a difference between the layers and the parts of self? Oh, you're so welcome. Beautiful. Every layer felt different. <clears throat> Initial discomfort in the heart and the gut. Body particularly challenged. Yeah. So it's really interesting to, um, when you start working with this frequency, and I definitely, especially for these next seven days, um, until we go into another frequency or on your own, um, really work with um, this frequency. So in your meditation practice or driving or in the shower, how quickly can you call upon it? How quickly can you call upon that feeling of freedom and being free? Because from that place of feeling free, it's how we truly can offer love, offer um, healing from a place of wholeness and a place of um containment in a way that's supportive to ourselves and others. So the more you can just call upon it, where are you? Um, in the collective, again, this was similar to um, the activation on congruency, the mental body in general um, was the most contracted. So beliefs, thoughts, where are you? Um, and feeling free uh, of your own agency and your own beliefs and your own thoughts. Where do you have agency in your own emotions? Where do you become enmeshed with the collective, with your family, yada, yada, yada. Um, so, and it's gonna be different for all of us, um, but it's, it's good to know, you know, where where's that snag and then call upon it. Just really, it's like, you know, anything, any habit, you're strengthening the muscle, you're strengthening your capacity to hold a certain frequency in light vibration. And so you might go through a detox, you might feel all of a sudden like, oh, I've arrived home one day, you might feel something different the next. So really in these, keep working with um, the frequencies, because it's just going to keep compiling and opening. And the more you can establish and feel uh, these vibrations and truly be able to call upon it in any moment and really switch to that, um, that consciousness the more you can hold your awakening process on a moment to moment to moment to level. So I love you all and so grateful as always. And um, some things are shifting in the, in the back world of the temple space, which is exciting. I've got help oh, and um, more goodies. I'll send out an email, but so for those who've asked, the link will go out Monday and Wednesdays from now on. Um, and thank you so much. I'm just going to read over. Beautiful. So wherever you are at, um, especially if your body doesn't feel free, whatever emotions came up, um, balance out what feels constricted and what feels resource, constricted resource, constricted resource. So you can also help with the parts that have constriction. I love you all. And um, yeah. All right. I'll see you next week.